Hey class, and welcome to lesson 6.5, Add and Subtract Fractions. Let's begin by taking a look at our essential question. How can you use a common denominator to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators? So we can use what we have learned about common denominators to add and subtract fractions with unlike denominators. So let's begin by taking a look at our word problem. Malia bought shell beads and glass beads to weave into designs in her basket. She bought one fourth pound of shell beads and three eighths pounds of glass beads. How many pounds of beads did she buy? Well, remember, with any word problem, we need to underline the question we need to answer. So let's look back over at our word problem. And our question is, how many pounds of beads did she buy? Then we also need to draw a circle around the information we will use. So let's look back at our word problem and find our key information. And that is she bought one fourth pound of shell beads and three eighths pound of glass beads. So those two fractions are key to our information. So we know that we begin by adding one fourth and three eighths because it wants to know how many beads or how many pounds of beads did she buy and that would mean all together and we know that the word all together means to add so we would write our answer in simplest form so let's look at two different ways that we can do this the first way is to find a common denominator by multiplying the denominators so our denominators are 4 and 8 so if we multiply 4 times 8 we can get a common denominator of 32 so we then can use the common denominator to write equivalent fractions with like denominators. Then we're going to add and write our answer in simplest form. So if we look at our first fraction of 1 fourth, we're using the denominator of 32. We will go ahead and put that over here. And we have to look at what we're going to multiply by 4 that's going to give us 32. And we know that 4 times 8 equals 32. And whatever we do to the denominator, we also have to do to the numerator. And 1 times 8 is 8. So our equivalent fraction to 1 fourth with a denominator of 32 is 8 30 seconds. Now let's look at our second fraction of 3 eighths. We're also going to use the same denominator of 32. So we will begin there. And we know that we have to multiply 8 by 4 in order to get our 32. Again, whatever we do to the denominator, we have to do to the numerator. So we know that 3 times 4 equals 12. So our equivalent fraction to 3 eighths with a denominator of 32 is 12 30 seconds. Now we can add our numerators together because remember when we're adding fractions we do not change our denominator. So let's begin with our denominator of 32 and 8 plus 12 equals 20. Now let's put this 20 30 second fraction into simplest form. So we know that we can begin by dividing by 4 because both 4 and will go into 20 and 32. So 20 divided by 4 equals 5, and 32 divided by 4 equals 8. And we know now that we have that in simplest form because 5 is a prime number. So Malia bought 5 eighths pounds of beads. Now that's one way of doing it. Let's look at another way, which is to find the least common denominator. The least common denominator of 1 fourth and 3 eighths is, now in order to do that, we need to list our multiples. So we've got 4 and we've got 8. So let's begin. We know that 4, 8, and look, we can already stop because we see a common multiple of 8. So we can use that as our new denominator. So we'll begin by putting our 8. And look, we don't even have to change this one, so we can bring 3 eighths already over. Now we know that we have to multiply 4 by 2 in order to get 8. So whatever we do to the denominator, we also have to do to the numerator. So 1 times 2 is 2. So now we can add these together. 2 plus 3 
equals 5. Our denominator does not change because we are adding fractions. And it, we get the same answer of 5 eighths. Now, explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. Well, we can estimate the sum. 0 plus 1 half equals 1 half. Since 5 eighths is close to 1 half, the answer is reasonable. Now let's take a look at another example. When subtracting two fractions with unlike denominators, follow the same steps you follow when adding two fractions. However, instead of adding the fractions, subtract. So we're going to subtract 9 tenths minus 2 fifths. And we're going to write our answer in simplest form. Well, we know that we can either multiply our two denominators together, so 10 times 5 equals 50, so we can use that as our denominator. Put our denominators down. We know that 10 times 5 equals 50, so whatever we do to the denominator, we also have to do to the numerator, so 9 times 5 equals 45. We know that 5 times 10 equals 50. Whatever we do to the denominator, we also do to the numerator. And 10 times 2 equals 20. So when we subtract these, 45 minus 20 equals 25 over our denominator stays the same because we're adding or subtracting. We don't change our denominator. And we also know that 25 fiftieths 25 is half of 50, so we can reduce down to 1 half. Now, it says to describe the steps you took to solve the problem. Well, keep in mind one of the other ways that we could have done that is to just list our multiples of 10 and 5. And if we'd have done that, we would have started with 5 and 10, and our second multiple of 5 is 10. And we've already got our least common denominator of 10, so we could have kept 9 tenths the same, changed our other fraction, and 10, we know that 5 times 2 equals 10, so whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator. 2 times 2 equals 4, and then when we subtract these, 9 minus 4 equals 5. Our denominator stays the same of 10, and we know that 5 is half of 10. And then it says at the bottom, explain how you know whether your answer is reasonable. Well, we can estimate the difference. 1 minus 1 half equals 1 half. Since the difference is equal to the estimate 1 half, the answer is reasonable. So now let's take our journals out and copy down our notes for this particular lesson. Remember that you can push pause for the video in order to jot down all the notes. And now let's take a look at our password for tonight. Which fractions below are equivalent to 2 fifteenths and 4 ninths and have a denominator that is the least common denominator? 10 45ths and 12 45ths, 4 30ths and 4 ninths, 6 45ths and 20 45ths, 18 1 35ths and 60 1 35ths. Be sure to record your answer in your journal and bring it with you to class tomorrow. We'll see you then.